Now we're ready for part two of printing or creating our rolling quarter report in FRX. We're going to focus on the column layout in part two. So I'll click on column layout from our control panel and create a new column layout. Now what I want for our rolling quarter report is relatively simple. I want to have a description of the account number. Then I want to see my current period. Then I want to see the period, the previous period. And then I want to see the period from two periods ago. Now this is all going to be assuming we're on a calendar year, so adjust your dates accordingly. So in column one, under A, under details, I will choose that I want to get the description from the row format. In the column layout, this is the only required field, so you must have a description column somewhere on your report. In column B, or my second one, I want to get my numbers from the general ledger account number. And this is correct. I want to look at actual numbers as opposed to a budget. And I want it to be for the year, my reporting year, which is our base, and my reporting period, which is also base. And I want it just to be month to date numbers as opposed to year to date numbers. In column C, I want to look at the previous period. So once again, I'll choose amounts from the general ledger. I'll keep it actual. The year will be the same but the period code will be a little bit different. If I choose from the drop-down list, I can choose to indicate a number of periods before my base period. So I'm going to do that and then change the pound sign to 1. So it'll look at the previous period. So if I'm printing this for October, the previous period will be September. And I'll do the same thing for two periods ago. I'll change that from base to base minus 2. Now this is great, but I need to put a description of each column so I can know what column the data is actually coming from. So under column headers in B, I'm going to choose to insert a code, and I'll tell it just to look at the month, and I'll click OK. And let's change the font styles to Arial, Blue, 11, Italic, Shade, and Bold. And I'm going to copy those over to C and D. And I just used cut and paste, but you could drop down and edit it accordingly. Now I have a column for description, a column for current period, column for the previous period, and a column for two periods ago. So let's click on save and give it our name. Rolling roll quarter is what I'll give it. Remember we only have 16 digits to create a unique name. And I'll get a little more descriptive here. Rolling quarter report. And I'll click OK. Now this works well. Again, let's assume we're on a calendar year and we only have 12 months, or 12 periods. This works well for periods 3 through 12. But what happens if we print it for period 2 or period 1? If you think about it, if we print this for period 1, the previous period is going to fall in a previous year. So even though the period code would be correct, the base year or the period year will not be correct. So we have to make adjustments for this. So we're going to actually create two additional column layouts to handle those two odd periods. So I'll click on File, Save As, and let's create what will happen if we print this in period 1. So I'll put a dash P1 and then click OK. And what would actually happen is, uh, if we did this for period 1, we would want to come over and the previous year would, uh, previous period would be the year base minus 1. So we'd look in last year and the period code would be 12. And two periods ago would be base minus one to look at last fiscal year, and the period would be 11. So we just hard coded the periods in. Let's click on save, and let's do a file save as so we can handle what happens in period two. Now, what we do in period two, if we're printing this for February, column B would be February, column C would be January. So that falls within our base period. So we'll change the fiscal year back to base and we'll change the period code to base minus one or we could have hard coded in period one. In column D we'd be looking at January or December of the previous year. So we'll leave the year base minus one to look at the previous year but we'll change the period code to hard code it to period 12 and click save. Let's close out our column format, whoops, let me get our control panel back. And in the column layouts, you can see now we have three column layouts, all for the rolling quarter, and we have a regular one and then two additional. 
the next part we'll look at putting all these pieces together in the reporting catalog and you can see how we can deal with having multiple column layouts. Hope this helps. Thanks.